Well, it's not something many think about that often, how having the right school supplies helps boost a child's self-esteem and help her or him succeed. The mission of Back to School Illinois is to provide those supplies to students in need. And here in studio this morning, Matthew Kurtzman, the CEO of Back to School Illinois, to talk about this local nonprofit and also a contest that's going to help students at two Chicago schools. So good morning. Thanks good morning. So much Happy for being Easter. Here. Same to you. So tell us first of all a little bit about how you got started in Back to Illinois. What's the uh, I got started started? actually this was a community relations program that I started for the Community Currency Exchange Association of Illinois and they were looking to do something to give back. We started with a school supply drive program and it just blossomed from there. So tell us a little bit about this contest because this could mean supplies for your whole school. Absolutely. Uh, well, there's 1.2 million kids in Illinois that live in low-income households. So that's who we're trying to give the kits to. So this contest, while it's a great thing, does it only deals with a couple of a uh, small group of those kids. So what we have though is we, we pick two schools. Anybody can nominate a school in the Chicago area. You can nominate a school as many times as you want. You go online to our website, there's an application and they can fill it out and a lot of it of course is based on need and then each kid gets one of these yes uh, one we, of these we show up kids. the first week of, of school we surprise the kids and every kid in the school gets gets one of the kids yeah see this is great all sorts of supplies but tell us why this is so important for kids and how it gives them a boost as they uh, enter a classroom. Well, if you might imagine showing up the first day of school and not having school supplies, and, and what does that child do? And do they, do they ask the kid next to them? Or, or do they sheepishly go up to the teacher and, and say, can, can I borrow or, or do I have an, and does that really set them up for learning? And obviously the answer is no. Right, so well, this certainly helps solve the problem. What kind of a response are you getting from people in terms of helping the organization? You, you know, um, money, we're sure. growing every year, which is great. So we're, we're actually on track. Last year we did about 34,000 of these kits that we gave out throughout the state. Wow. So we're hoping to do 40,000 or more next year. Big numbers. How can people get involved and help you out? Well, there's a bunch of different ways. I mean, we have a Build-A-Kit program where people, companies come in and they do a Build-A-Kit, they assemble kits and we distribute those. Uh, people can, uh, we have a kickoff dinner coming up May 9th. People can come to that. They can just make donations online, of course. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matthew. And for more information on Back to School Illinois and how you can help, just log on to our website, cbschicago.com, a little later on this morning.